Our search for Kankanzie, a completely cut off village in the Wa West constituency in the Upper West region, takes off on a bumpy note from the regional capital, Wa. Seemingly never ending stretch of bad roads flanked by overgrown weeds. Occasionally, we miss the way and have to intermittently ask for help. After more than three hours, we arrive in Kankanzie. Few minutes into the village is this stagnant pool in the middle of the untarred road, which we guarded whenever it rains makes movement impossible, even with motorbikes. With a population of about 1,000 people, Kankanzie, a farming community, has no electricity, no health center, and access to potable water, a major challenge. Mobile network connectivity is also very elusive. However, most worrying for inhabitants is the absence of a school. In this village, access to formal education is the preserve of children who are 15 years and above, while younger ones are left behind. This is because it takes nearly two hours from Kankanzie on foot to Namvili, where the closer school is located. I have a school in Honomo. 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 It is very sad how this community has been abandoned. We have no school here. The only school close is far away. Only children who are 15 years and above are allowed to go to school. All the children are at home. Even for the few attending school is discouraging due to the hurdles on the way. It is just disheartening. Leafu said, I see you, Mokwa Mumba Biyam. How are you? How are you? What is your name? How are you? How are you? What is your name? So, this shows how yawning the inequality in terms of education is in this particular community to the extent that these young ones cannot respond to something as simple as how are you? Only six out of the hundreds of children here attend school. Those under applied science, agriculture. 18-year-old Mercy Banoui is one of the few privileged ones. The first year junior high school student is unhappy about the state of affairs in Kankanzie. My name is Mercy Banunge. I am one of the six people attending school in this village. My village has no school. We, we work far away to attend school. Sometimes when it rain, it is more difficult. We cause a river to attend school. Many children do not go to school here. Though schools nationwide are closed, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we opted to experience the journey to school. Meandering our way in the bushes, we come across a dead snake, one of the many dangers. After almost 20 minutes, the rest of the journey would have to be on foot. 
All right, so access to education in this part of the country is a full-time job. After meandering through a very long stretch of bushes, we are still moving and we are told there is another hurdle uh, that these students in this community, six of them, would have to deal with every day before they are able to trek to school. Here, Mercy and her colleague walk us through their daily ordeal. I am a brapa, Sam Colano Basinko Square, and so in dwelling in us. Say, do say a moko, a mochu chundria, Nam Bema Moasua, no Madabe Yahan Moye, and San Colano Timaco School. And so on by Drew and Magiso Mura and Somo Drew, Moha, and San Marfu Driano. This is the daily struggle of our children. Using this route is a deadly affair. Sometimes, the few who attend school slip and fall into the river. With their weight books and uniform, they often return home in tears. Even we, the women, are not spared the danger. We really doubt whether indeed we are also Ghanaians. We feel really neglected. No education facility close to home in Kankanzia means no opportunity for children to read and write. They are either used as farm hands or like in the case of these children whom are the vagaries of the weather trek long hours tending a flock of sheep. According to UNICEF, children in rural areas are more than twice more likely to be out of school than their urban peers due to inequality, with over 623,500 children of primary school age not enrolled in school and one out of four children in the kindergarten age range not in preschool in Ghana. The United Nations also reveals that at least one-third of the well school children, especially in rural areas like Kankanzie, are unable to access remote learning during school closures in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic owing to social and economic inequalities. Back in Mercy's home, she takes some of the village children through how to say the English alphabets, hoping that one day the narrative will change in Kankanzie. X, F, Y, Z, Z, Z. Ghana, in a pre election study dubbed the Citizens Manifesto, revealed the provision of adequate funding for holistic implementation of Ghana's inclusive education policy is among the major expectations of the citizenry. Also, at the heart of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 4 is that all children have the right to go to school and learn regardless of whom they are, where they live or how much money their family has. Without a shred of doubt, the Leave No One Behind agenda has been reduced to nothing but a sham in this part of the country. Red One, Karim Dini Osman, GH1 News, Kankanzie, Upper West Region.